Hey there, everybody. Welcome on back to... Just gotta make sure this is actually recording. Welcome on back to Dungreed. How are you guys today? I'm good. We got the facts. The falks. The fooksa waksa hooksa waksa. Uh, this is good. Last episode. Uh, I don't even remember what technically last episode was in terms of uh, the good old YouTube series, but we did stream uh, and we unlocked the altar. Uh, we found this chick, Rosen, in the uh, swamp and got the altar unlocked. So now we contribute things throughout the run uh, on the altars. And when we fill that up, we're going to be able to bless and something awesome is going to happen or something like that. Uh, so I'm excited for it. We're going to hop right in here uh, and get a run going. The Falks is good. Let's just take it. I can't open during battle. Well, I'll show you uh, directly after this bad boy what is exactly going on with this weapon. Uh, it's not bad. It has okay damage. The main thing is we have uh, charge, 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 which is going to increase our movement speed. Uh, but the damage is good on this guy. It's just the uh, actual attack speed is horrible. But I don't intend to have this thing uh, for an extended period of time. Uh, we kind of just want to use it uh, until we get a better thing and then move on from there. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to increase power, health, and critical throughout this entire run. So there's our altar. We contribute stuff, but we don't really have anything to even tribute right now. Get destroyed. I'm getting a little bit better at Dungreed. I don't want to say that I'm... Uh, good at the game yet because there's still like an above 50 percent chance i potato this run uh and we end up not making it to the swamp but i think there's a good chance we make it to the swamp uh and get ourselves that's a new thing the frost choker deal 30 percent additional damage to frozen enemies okay so now we have a thing that we want to try to build around you know if we could get ourselves a run our movement speed is going to be whack as hell Whenever we pop, uh, pop our thing here. Yeah, we are a fast boy when we, uh, when we pop our Q on this boy, which we should do, like, a lot. Uh, there's, there's two kinds of people in my Dungreed section of the comments. Uh, there's the people that go, Tyler, this game looks awesome. I can't wait to buy it myself, and you praise the game for being awesome. Uh, and then there's the people that go, I can't watch this anymore because he doesn't use weapon abilities. Don't you know that this game that came out less than three months ago, you should know every little piece of information about everything already. It's borderline how I imagine you sounding, but, uh, I know, I don't use my weapon abilities enough. Uh, and it's something that I gotta get better at doing, and we will get better at doing that. It's just... It's been, uh, it's difficult for me to get used to something like that. When the game first came out, there was, like, two weapons that actually had a weapon ability. They've added so many weapons that have them now. So I'm not used to, uh, always looking for weapon abilities <laughs> on, uh, on items. So this is good. I mean, when they're adding to the game and putting more stuff in, and that's the entire floor, and I have, like, HP everywhere, and we're doing phenomenal. Uh, it's hard for me to complain about this. I think we do just want to go, uh, head on down, and then look for Milia as soon as possible because we're going to be able to get a upgrade for her. A stat upgrade is kind of what I meant to say there. This is going great, though. We're actually playing, like, insanely well. Uh, that's, like, the first time we've been hit on this run, I think, which is really good. You know, any time that you can go a significant amount of time, like, pretty much the entire first floor without even getting remotely smacked is a pretty good, uh, is a pretty good situation. The Watcher's not that good. I know it's a blue boy, and usually blue boys are at least remotely okay, but I don't care for the Watcher. I like The Witness as a game. Uh, I think The Witness is pretty good. The Witness is sadly, it's one of those games where once you play it, uh, once... It loses a bit of its charm because you already know kind of what's going on with it. Okay, we're going to put this bad boy in. Do we want Silver Earring uh, plus 3 Evasion? I mean, if we want... You know what? I think we are going to. We definitely don't need the Platinum Boolean. Okay, this is fine. We'll, we'll get the... Uh, we'll get the money from the Platinum Boy on this floor. Uh, and then... I was going to say, I know this is not the entire uh, room here. 
because we definitely have more enemies that we can kill and they always spawn. Hi, buddy. We're just gonna chill here and stab you with a knife a bunch of times? Okay. I wish instead of butterfly knife, they called this the butter knife. I know that, like, kind of defeats the purpose of uh, making a weapon based off of a butterfly knife, but I think it would be kind of funny if they called it the butterfly knife instead. So put this on here. What do you think? Does that do a lot? It doesn't. I mean, it kind of did, but not really enough for me to be like, yeah, let's, uh, let's tribute that. I'd rather get the money from it uh, so we can use that money elsewhere. But we're playing really well. Uh, I don't necessarily like the weapons we have, which makes it even better that I'm playing well with them because uh, we don't have a great run. Now we have a great run uh, because the Assassin's Dagger is... Probably still one of the best uh, weapons in the game that you can get pretty regularly. I mean, this thing just has incredible damage. There's no denying that. Hi, how are you? Get absolutely destroyed. I feel like they buffed this thing and made it even better. Are you seeing how fast we swing? My lord, dude, it's so good. Okay, increase uh, max health. And we can't do power yet, but I would really like to before the end of the floor. So if you can make that happen, game, that'd be great. Honestly, give me a Morpheus and have him uh, reset my hunger. That would be even better. Hand crossbow. It's so good. You you have to take it. Uh, the, the goal is to get something better than it in the future, but you have to buy it. If it shows up, uh, it's worth it to buy. Because it is a top tier uh, thing in the game for the early game, you know? You can't think of Dungreed as, I'm not going to invest in this because in the future, it's just not going to be as good. You can't think of Dungreed like that. You have to invest uh, You have to invest money all the time into stuff because in the end, you're going to end up with leftover money anyway. Uh, it, you just You end up spending way less than you earn. So you might as well do what you can to spend as much as possible. I mean, look. That's a lot that we contribute. This thing actually is a decent amount in terms of contributing it. Look at how... Yeah. I don't know. We're, we're going to contribute it. We don't need the money. I just said we don't need money, so why would we, uh, why would we need money here? We're just going to continue on. Is there some 20 bangers we can do that are useful? Chance, uh... If there is a chance to freeze, that would be really good. Critical damage rate will increase. And then, really, our weapons don't really do much for dash damage. So I'm just going to head on down. Uh, this should probably be the easiest boss fight we ever do. Like, I'm talking there's a good chance that we walk out of here without getting hit kind of situation. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Belial's easy as hell. If I lose against this guy, that means that something horribly bad has happened. He never starts with this attack, so that caught me a little bit off guard, but that's okay. I do think that I'm going to hand crossbow this guy for the rest of uh, the fight, though. The Assassin's Dagger is like the one time where it's not that great uh, is when fighting this guy, because you can't reach him. But... The fight is basically over. Uh, we will walk out of here with full HP as well, because it's going to give us a massive uh, plus 80 boy. I think it's plus 80 at least. Uh, and then we can just pray for a lair. <laughs> for a lair. A lair or legendary weapon. And uh, a legendary weapon is exactly what we got. So insanely good damage on this guy. I, I Look, it is worth it to do this over the Assassin's Dagger. But we might legitimately rock a double uh, double melee weapon thing here. Plus 80% dash damage and plus 7% power. And we have the uh, insanely cool lightning strike on this. I'm excited to use this thing because it just looks incredible uh, in every single way. Yeah, I'm going to say that this is probably going to be okay. Uh, lightning strike, please. Yeah, it annihilates. So... I'm going to say that we, uh, we're in pretty good shape on this run to create something pretty good. Uh, this weapon is very, very nice. Uh, and I think there is a decent chance to get absolutely destroyed, to be fair. I think there's a pretty decent chance that we can he shot behind him. I think that's uh, fairly unfair, but who am I to 
say a thing or two about fair and unfair in in this life that we live in. Beautiful. Dash damage is great. Uh, we now have to completely change around our strategy, though, because what we can do is we'll start to pay for dash damage in our shop on every floor, uh, and then in doing so, we end up get lightning bolted. We end up getting where, like, one hit dash is killing people with this weapon, uh, and that's what I think would be quite the memes in terms of a good time is having a ridiculously good dash now we just need the dash shield and then uh and then we just profit is the last step of that <laughs> of that scenario because it would be dope uh to have yes please increase my hp take the sword even though the sham shear is useless uh for us and we will not be looking to use it on this run it's still nice to have it and then we will uh, continue on here. We will still keep the Assassin's Dagger uh, on, like, in the back of our mind for this run. And there's a reason for that. For this boss fight, I actually think that the Assassin's Dagger is a top tier kind of weapon. Because we're able to pour in more hits per second. You know, we want a higher, a higher uh, fire rate. For that boss fight then we do a power rate because we want to make sure that we get into because like there's e there's phases of that boss fight we want to make sure that we're getting into each phase of that boss fight uh beautiful uh not just making sure that we deal as much damage as possible because if you're worrying about dealing as much damage as possible then obviously we would just use this but we want to just make sure that we're getting you know what I'm saying, but I'm explaining it very poorly. Uh, and that's that's totally my bad. Lightning Strike. It actually hits more than one enemy, too. Uh, it's This is a top-tier weapon. There's a reason it's legendary. And we will continue to use it uh, as such, as it is incredible. I am intrigued, though, with... Uh, so, like, how... I, 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 I don't, I don't want to sell it, but I am curious. How much does this thing sell for? Almost 3,000. I'm interested to see how much you can sacrifice this for on an altar. That's what I'm intrigued with. Uh, so I am going to see this, actually. If we put the legendary on there, it's a decent chunk. Uh, it's a decent chunk, but we don't want to do that, obviously. We want to do the best we can. This is going to be another good weapon. It's just another uh, platinum boy. and we, we can actually go back and tribute all this stuff, which I think is intelligent, too. Uh, so tribute all of those. And get another little bit of stuff going. And then it's time to just go. Uh, we have nothing else we can do in Milia's place. Because our things are at 20. We bought both. Uh, we, we can only afford to do a 20 banger. We have all the 20s taken care of. Lightning strike. I, I tried to hit it. Lightning strike. Okay, that was bad. This is really bad right now. I'm not concerned about HP. Uh, I, I genuinely I feel like HP is going to be fine on this run. But I'm a little bit concerned about HP. We just potatoed a little bit right there. But I think we can get HP back uh, relatively easily on this one. Is it impossible to hit this guy? Die, please. I think we can get HP quickly back uh, on this run. I'm going to buy... We, we, I want to do power from her. I'd like to get power and dash damage from her on this one whether or not that's gonna happen is a bit of a different story okay die please we have a good setup here just build around what we got which is uh which is this beautiful magnificent pile of nightmare that we call the gwendolyn we have 13 hp i may need to buy hp well, there's an HP upgrade right there. Uh, just give me another HP upgrade out of out of just a random room. If we get that, we're set, you know? I, I'm not looking for... Yeah, here we go. Give me a big banger. I was going to say I'm not looking for a big banger, but if we could have gotten one, I would have been happy. Okay, this is a hand crossbow room. We don't want to forget we have it. You know, at range... This is easily one of the best in the game. I feel like they nerfed it a lot, though. It might just be because I'm used to the heavy weapon now, but... I feel like this was 
at the beginning of the game, like a top tier end game item as well. And it clearly is not anymore. I feel like maybe it had another shot to it. Was it shooting three at a time? I don't remember, to be fair. I might just be losing my mind in that I uh, don't remember this. Okay, continue exploring a bit. There is part of me that's like, we might as well just go down. Because, you know, are we really going to get that much more of an upgrade without just getting hit more on this run? And I'm hoping the answer is yes, we are. Okay, I hate this right now. We're fine. HP is super low. That's a huge upgrade. Okay. Uh, that's good. The Tanfa is a new weapon for us. Uh, I can't say I've seen it before. We saw it in the shop uh, at some point, but I can't say I've used it. Oh, I. good thing I have the spike shoes. I didn't realize the spikes came all the way over here. They don't. I just evaded it the first time. Okay. I'm apparently messing up like a bunch of different runs in my head right now. Hi. You can't reach. That's okay. These guys are a one-hit KO, so that's so bad. Beautiful. Screw this right now. I don't want to spend our food levels. I just almost walked into that. Uh, I don't want to spend our food levels on an HP upgrade, dude. This is one of those that you take the risk. I'm going to max our health. And then our levels are too high. We're one room short of another dash damage. That's sucky, dude. Damn. Okay. Uh, go, go tribute your stuff that you have here. The Tanfa is not that great. We're, we're going to tribute it. And then here's the deal. I think... I mean, we're going to go down first, but I think it is actually in our best interest to get rid of the Gwendolyn for this fight. The Assassin's Dagger is the better thing. You use the hand crossbow to get rid of the uh, things because you can do it at a range and it's good damage at a range. And then we turn around uh, and use the Assassin's Dagger to get it. Okay. Hi. Die. Okay, we're, we're not in fantastic shape. Okay. This is fine. And by fine, I mean it's like totally not fine. We can't afford to get hit. We're dead. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus, I'm so bad at Dungreed. Why was I doing so good on stream and then all of a sudden I'm garbage can now? I should have healed to be fair, but... God, dude, we got to get better at this game. Everybody makes fun of me in the comments. I'm trying my hardest, okay? Dang, dude. All right, well, we'll be back in the next episode uh, to hopefully get further than right here because apparently I'm not allowed to get past here in a video anymore. But thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to slap that like button. We'll be back next episode. Bye-bye. <sighs>